Baijuri Bank, the largest conventional bank in Brunei, has appointed a new CEO. T. Eng Hui has been with Baijuri for the last 20 years, with the latest five spent in key management positions. Mr. T, talk me through the growth and the evolution that Baijuri Bank has seen over the last five years. As you know, Baijuri Bank has three core businesses, one of which is retail banking, which has gained significant market share over the last five years in mortgages, in personal loan and credit card. We also have a core business which is corporate banking, servicing the small business all the way to the multinational companies. Another third core business is our hire purchase arm, a subsidiary company called Baidri Finance, who specialize in car hire purchase and leasing. So all three core businesses have been doing fantastically well over the last three years. Over the last three years, we have the opportunity to acquire a number of acquisitions, one of which is the UOB portfolio, the retail portfolio that we bought over. So that has given us a tremendous boost in the retail business. 2017 was another good year for us. We bought over HSBC's retail and corporate portfolio. It has given us another boost in terms of asset and profitability by another 10%. Our profit last year has grown by 29% and our total assets has grown by 12%. So what do you see as your mission as you take over the helm? You know, Baidubi has been successful over the last 24 years. This year is our 25th anniversary, and I would like to bring the bank to a new level of service, new level of capabilities, and new level of productivity to meet the challenges in the coming years. That means building up new capabilities. That means bringing new people to strengthen the team. That means bringing new technologies to support the business, to make sure that we bring new services to our customers, we make sure that the innovation in banking uh, continue to be rolled out. We need to make sure that our management team will continue to deliver in the coming years and that we have a good succession plan in place. Lastly, we need to be more nimble. We need to be able to go forward in such a way that we are able to respond very quickly to the changes in marketplace and to be able to take advantage of the opportunities in Brunei and abroad. You're taking over as CEO from Pierre Imov. What's the legacy that he's left behind? Well, you know, Pierre was a CEO for 16 years and I was uh, fortunate to be his deputy for five. I've learned a lot from him over the years. I think he has a very special skill sets in managing conflicts among people. He's able to bring stability to the bank, to bring growth to the bank, and I think he is a great people manager, able to motivate people to do their best, give people the opportunities to do what they believe in, and best of all, trust his people in delivering what they're supposed to do. The bank has been fortunate uh, to have him over the last 16 years, so thank you, Pierre, for his contribution. Baiduri Bank has a long history of delivering financial services first in Brunei. How will you make sure the bank continues to stay ahead of the competition? Well, there's two things we need to do. One is that we need to continue to invest in technology. New technologies like cloud computing, like fintech, like big data, these are very important tools that we need to have to propel the bank to the next level. Secondly, I think we need to train our people a lot more. There are new regulations, the banking industry is facing new challenges. So we need to make sure our people are well trained, well positioned to be able to face the challenges in the coming years. So in the coming years, in the next five years, what is your ambition for Baiduri Bank? You know, Baiduri Bank, it's a Bruneian bank. It is a bank serving the Brunei community. It is a bank that will continue to focus on Brunei as a priority market. We will work a lot more with government GLCs to serve them better. We will continue to work with the business community to develop more corporations. We want to also be able to venture outside Brunei and therefore we have plans to go beyond Brunei. And that means developing a strategy for our expansion in a numbering of Asian countries. So that's something that we'll be working on in the coming months. T. Enghui, thank you very much. Thank you for inviting. Thanks for watching. Learn more at baiduri.com.bn. Click now to watch more videos with leading banks from around the world, and please subscribe for the latest international business insights from worldfinance.com.